Hi everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry and tonight I'm going to show you um, how I finish my paintings once the seal, it, seal sealer is dry in the painting. Um, what, what do I do with that painting um, before it's sold? So I'm going to bring you down on this canvas and um, I'll show you what I do. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this canvas is one of uh, a two-piece diptych that um, I painted, I let it dry, um, I sealed it, and now that sealer is dry. So what do I do with this afterward? So let's just go through the steps. So after I make sure it's all dry, I'm going to put it down onto a clean mat and I'm going to take out the push bins. And I will clean up the push pins a little later, but take out the push pins, and then we take the tape off. When I'm peeling the tape off, I'm careful not to pull the paint uh, any particular direction um, because I don't want to disrupt the sides of the painting. So I'm just going to pull the tape off. It doesn't always come off perfectly. Um, but just pull it off of all the edges. So my sealer gun on here. There we go. And once we get all of the tape off, then um, I'm going to stamp my painting with my logo or company name actually. Um, and then I'm going to let this sealer dry for a few more days before I wrap the painting. And I wrap the painting because I don't have a studio and I can't just leave all these paintings in one place. So I wrap them in um, parchment paper and gently take them up and then I store them in um, cardboard boxes in a spare bedroom right now. And that seems to keep them from having any temperature issues. So like they're not too hot, they're not too cold. All right, so I've got just a little bit of the tape left here. And yes, sometimes it sticks. Just need to pry it off of there. There we go. One more piece, I think, here. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to get rid of the tape. The back is all now nice and clean now. Okay. And then this, like I said, is a diptych. So there's going to be two of them. And I always just choose one of the two to stamp. So um, I got myself a rubber stamper and some ink and I bought myself a nice blue um, archival ink pad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it on here and I'm gonna approximate. I just sort of randomly count down to where I think the middle is. I'm gonna go over and I'm just going to put my stamp on. I'll show you this in just a second. There we go. And then I'm going to sign my painting. Okay. So I'm going to show you this, like I said, is one of two. So this is what my, my seal looks like. I think you can see that. So it basically just says Christy Cole Artistry and then I put my signature on there. And that's it. Let these dry, and then the um, painting, like I said, will be, will be um, wrapped in um, parchment paper, and I use painter's tape to hold it together so that it's not like pulling on the sides or anything. But there you go, that is how I finish off my paintings. So I'm going to um, set up for our paint job tonight, and I will be right back with you. 
Okay, everybody, I am back. Um, as you can see, there's quite a mess on my table. I was having trouble with my um, ocean green, and so I had to um, scrape the painting and do it again. So now it looks beautiful, and I'm just going to torch the bubbles, and then we're going to start, um, I'll start telling you about what colors we're going to use to go with this beautiful color. Just a minute. A lot of bubbles because I had to mix up some new paint. used yet and I mixed it the same way I always do and unfortunately as I was putting it on the canvas it was drying so turned out I needed to add a little bit more water than I usually do and that seems to have done the trick now a lot of bubbles and that's just from me mixing it okay so today we are going to use the same colors plus um, I'm mixing them up a little bit from my uh, last canvas with the two um, 12 by 9 by 12 um, test samples that I did. So we're going to be using Deco Art Metallic Aqua, Aqua Marine, okay. Um, and then we're going to use Liquitech Basics Prussian Blue, beautiful. Then the next color I'm going to put on there is going to be the DecoArt Peacock um, Pearl. Last time I started with the Peacock Pearl, but this time I'm going to um, put it uh, third color in. Then I'm just going to use my Titanium White from uh, Artist Loft. That was really nice last time. And then I'm going to add the silver in there. So I just have um, uh, a metallic silver. I'm just going to use that next. Then I'm going to use the um, Folk Art Pure Pings Gray, which again is another one of my favorite colors. Then we are going to use the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And last but not least, we're going to put a little bit of the um, Liquitex Basic Blue Gray in there. So that is our color palette, color palette tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight colors. This is a big triptych, so I think it's going to work. So let's start out with our aquamarine this time. I'm literally just going to go across the whole canvas. And I do apologize, you can't see the whole canvas. It's just really large and my table's not that large. You're going to get to see the, the center of it, mostly. So here we go. So I'm just going to go across the whole... This painting consists of two 14 by 14s and one 16 by 20 canvas. Um, so the total width of it are, um, is actually 44 inches, and that's why it's really hard to get into the camera. Okay, here's our Prussian blue coming up. This Prussian blue is beautiful when it, when it gets blown out. Okay. And this design that I'm using, um, you can see it over here, is like a triangle this way, then just straight across the top and the bottom, and then a triangle over here. It's the same um, design that I use in my uh, my logo that I have on my website, and that I have um, in a lot of my videos behind me when I first start introducing the video. Okay, I really like this design. Okay, so now that was our peacock pearl that we used um, first the last time, but I thought I'd put it uh, down just a hair from the others. I'm going to put a dash of white in here, and that is because I like how it looks with the uh, Prussian blue. Okay, next is our silver, and it's metallic silver, so I'm hoping to get some cells out of it. I'm not 
going to use too much because I know that silver and gold tend to take over and I don't want that. Next we're going to do our Payne's Gray. And I love Payne's Gray with any other blue. Any other blue, lots of greens. I think it's a beautiful color and it's really nice with the Prussian blue. Um, the problem that I had too with that the blue green, the ocean blue paint, or the ocean green paint that's um, my accent color, is I've never used this brand of paint before. And um, when I went to put it on the first time, it just it just had this really weird, like it was trying to dry already. So um, I knew that it wasn't going to blow out if it was already drying. So that's when I said, nope, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to scrape it, and then I'm going to... Um, Add some more water to it, and I think that happens. Looks like it worked. Okay, last color is the Protect Basis Basics Blue Green or Blue Gray. All right, so we're gonna put that on there, and then I was trying to decide how I wanted to blow this one out because last time I just sort of blew it around um, but I kind of want it to fill up more of the white space so I think I was gonna go with this um, this hair dryer and um, piece on the front my husband actually made this for me on his 3d printer so it's a really nice uh, wide um, attachment for my hair dryer because I couldn't find one for my hair dryer. So I was thinking about using that, but I don't think I want it to be that sharp. So I think what I'm going to do here is yes, I'm going to use no, I'm going to go ahead and try it. We're going to try this one. See what happens. I can adjust the, the power on it, so that might be a good thing. So yep, we're going to try that. Okay. Here we go. had um, blown this uh, this way or tried to do this different things I would not be getting the cells that I'm getting popping up here so I really like that um, I like how the gold kind of blended here I think I'm gonna blow this a little bit more and then this one is absolutely gorgeous I know you can't see it but I'll bring it down but the one on my um, left hand side here is absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to blow this a little bit more. Let's see if we can get just a little bit more raised up here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to be on low and then I'm going to use my jet power. I hope you can see this how this blue came out. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the Prussian blue and um, the Payne's gray and my um, um, gold, the 24 karat gold. 
because they, this is just shimmering and shining and these blues are just beautiful. Oh, it is gorgeous. I don't see anything else I want to touch. Um, let me let me get you or uh, bring you down on the canvas. I'm gonna pop the bubbles and then we're going to uh, take a look at this up close. I'll be right back. So this one is a triptych. It is two 10 by 10s and an 11 by 14 in the center. Um, this particular one is done in um, blues, silvers, and bl uh, black with uh, resin. So I've resined it. So I'm going to bring you up close so you can see some of the shimmer and shine and the resin. You can see the lights are shining on the picture because of the resin. So it really came out nice. There's some really nice colors in here. I love the blues, the light silvers. Um, the whole thing is just gorgeous. So that is the first one. And again, I really like this design. Um, it gives a nice open spot in the center and I'm sure somebody could do something with that, but I love the, the um, white space. And the second one I'm going to show you is done with varnish and this one is purple, pinks, and golds. And again, it's a triptych. Two uh, 10 by 10s, one 11 by 14 in the center. And the gold just shimmers on this one with the varnish. So I'm hoping you can see that. But there's just some gorgeous shine in there. I don't always use resin. I use varnish. I use top coat. I use a lot of different um, sealers depending on the look I'm trying to achieve for the uh, painting and the colors in the painting. So again, this one is done in varnish and it is a triptych. And both of these, along with a green version and a um, fire version, yellow, reds, pinks, blacks, um, is also for purchase and those will be on my website.